Hydroxychloroquine. Even the disagreeable can agree it won't cure controversy. It's back in the middle of it after the Ohio Pharmacy Board banned the drug as a treatment for COVID, then reversed their decision. For me, it came out of left field, and I tend to pride myself in having a pretty good idea what's going on. Ernest Boyd is the head of the Pharmacists Association. He says the mandate could put local pharmacists in a bad spot. Do I go ahead and release it in the interest of the patient because maybe the physician has it right, or do I protect my license? And that's not the only reservation. To have a regulatory body step in and say, hey, doc, you can't do that. Uh, is a is a real concern. Todd Baker is CEO of the Ohio State Medical Association, representing doctors. We feel without any representation of a medical doctor on the pharmacy board that they are moving into the practice of medicine. And we have a major concern of that overreach. Hydroxychloroquine first created controversy as President Trump had hopes it could be part of the COVID treatment solution, but researchers found it ineffective. The board changed its mind after Ohio Governor Mike DeWine got involved. State Pharmacy Board has now reversed that decision, um, and that was the right thing to do. Now, the state medical board said they're glad to meet with the state pharmacy board to try and address any concerns, but they don't want it done as a mandate. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. <laughs>